the educators that they are so well trained to be. Question number four, Moana Mackey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport and asks, does he stand by all his statements? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, as long as they are properly reported and in the right context. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Moana Mackey. Does he stand by his statement that, quote, I think climate change is something that has happened always, so to simply come up and say it's man-made is an interesting prospect, unquote. And if so, is he saying that the nearly 50% increase in global greenhouse gas emissions from transport in the last 25 years have played no role in causing our planet to heat up at an unprecedented rate? Uh, Mr. Speaker, Jerry Brownlee. Uh, yes, no, and I'm unsure. <laughs> supplementary question. Supplementary, supplementary question. Sorry. Moana Mackey. When he described man-made climate change as being, quote, an interesting prospect, was he aware that anthropogenic climate change, to which emissions from transport are a major contributor, is actually not a new concept, that thousands of scientists worldwide have been working on this small issue for decades, and if not, does that allay his concerns that someone simply came up with the idea? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, yes and no. <laughs> order. Order. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Moana Mackey. Does he agree with his colleague, the Honourable Tim Grocer, that to deny man-made climate change, you'd, quote, have to be denying reality, unquote? And if he doesn't agree, then how can the public have any confidence that his government is taking the need to reduce our emissions from transport seriously? Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes. And if they look at our record in transport and regulation and in construction of roads which reduce emissions, then, of course... <laughs> They will agree with our position. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Moana Mackey. Oh. <laughs> Does he appreciate how embarrassing it is in 2013 to have a New Zealand, a New Zealand Minister of Transport publicly questioning the science of climate change, a minister who is responsible for policy settings in the sector with the fastest growing level of emissions, and will he promise not to do it again? Uh, Mr. Speaker, Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Well, there we have it, Mr. Speaker. I said yes. I stand by my statements when they are reported in the proper context. What we had yesterday was a bit of a cook-up between TV3 and the Greens, right. attempting, oh! attempting to get a, a result that would favour the Green Party. Everyone knows that. It was pretty clear. And I tell you what, when you see a reporter bounding towards you asking a question like that, you always give an answer that's going to be a little tempered on the madness that comes from the Greens. Question number five, Paul Fosterbell.